Ava and Doki Dad. In this video, we're going to show you how we made our bunk bed. In our last video, we demonstrated how we created a single bed, and this is all done. And Ava's just putting on the finishing touches here, so while she's working on that, she'll then move on to making all the materials for the bunk bed. Um, and while she's doing that, I'll be making this particular bunk bed, in which we've got two bunk beds. Um, we have put a ladder on this side, which kind of mimics the bunk bed that she um, sleeps on. So we've got a, a two-step stair, and then we've got the support beams and everything else, and we also have the safety rails for up top. We don't want our LOL dolls falling off when they're sleeping. But we don't and you need don't that. want me to be falling yeah. off. But we don't put the rails up for the bottom, just because... Um, with their heads being as large as they are, we had to create a space in which they could still fit and also in a way in which the bed was tall enough, um, not too tall, to fit into the LOL dollhouse that she actually has, that she got. So this is going to allow the LOL doll to fit up top and bottom, but what we can do at the bottom, which we can add to the other ones, is... Um, and Ava went and took some of the foam paper and she just made kind of like a bed skirt that could sit on the sides to kind of spruce it up. So we've got all this going on. Here is that pillow from last time that looks amazing. And so we've got our two single beds done. And now we're going to go ahead and try to make another bunk bed. So let's go ahead and jump into this action. Let's move these gals out of the way so we don't mess with them Wait, can and you we're gonna go ahead and get rocking and rolling this might be big enough dad so our first step here one i need to kind of clear my mess here i move these extra scraps these little scraps are great to have just for other projects or like when ava's using the glue as a little kind of thing to smooth the glue out what we're going to do first is cut our things so actually just like we did the same exact instructions that we did for the single bed we're going to cut all these here uh, four inches long. So we're going to need eight of those this time. So we're going to go ahead and cut those and then our three inch pieces across here and here. Um, so we have those bed flats and then we'll get into the construction. So I'm going to go ahead and be working on that. And I'm going to be using this different stuff because we're running out of this stuff. So you can try some new material. Yes, I'm going to be using this stuff. Let's see if it will cut good enough. So for me to start, I'm going to need 10 of these for the to go four across and then the support beam. So you got that and then these will be my supports. Can you all glue this together? I'm not going to use the hot glue gun because my dad also is doing it because I don't want to get blonde. Like Oh, you can do it. Five more times. You just gotta pay attention. I That's something that A was learning is the importance of taking your time and paying attention. So what are you what are you working on here while we're doing this? Um I am working on the pillows already. The pillows? Yeah. I'm sleep in. So this is what color I'm using. Um on camera is like a light pink. But in real life, it's actually like a dark one, and this, this is, it's not the same color, but it's, it's a different color, trust me. So this one's already glued, and this one isn't. So, I'm gonna use one of these to pat it down. You guys probably can see my... So, I got it glued. Ow! That hit me. That's what my dad's doing. And I was right over here. You guys probably could see my head. But this one is a little bit harder to cut. But I, I got it, I got it, got it, I got it. I am not giving up today, because that's not what I do. I keep on working, because that's what I do. That's what I do, that's what I do, that's what I do. 
And if you need a list of materials or any of that, you can check out the previous video we made the single bed and we kind of broke all that down. Okay, so we've got the two base things for the bed here as we go through. It doesn't have to be perfect, especially if you're going to lay the, the foam pads down for like the bed sheets. So now our next step in here um, is we want to go through and get the legs, the back supports all constructed here. So what I'm going to do is cut these. These are actually at four inches. This is just for the back side, four inches tall. So I'm just cutting the bottom of a popsicle stick. And then uh, we'll go ahead and get those on. So we're going to need four of these at four inches and then we'll go ahead and glue in um, the bed frame. So I'm going to grab four more. The dress. Um, I'm wrapping it around right now. Um, huh? So I'm trying to figure out some stuff. Um, Alright, so I know it's a little hard to see where you're at, but what we're going to be doing is laying these down so this bed can sit right on top. So I'm trying to get these as flush as I can to the bottom of the ground. And then as I go here, I'm going to go about a half inch off the ground here for the first bed. I'm trying to keep it as low as I can to the ground because we're going to need at least two inches of head space because their heads are pretty large, so we want to make sure we create as much opportunity for that bunk bed to be able to get the, the LOL dials in. So I'm going to go ahead and mark right here. I've got it marked on my popsicle stick with my gridded work area. And I'm just going to go at a half inch and, and yes, glue these guys in. And yes, I have my dress done. It's right here. And they can just pop it right on. And it's so easy to put on. I love it. We can decorate it some of the same stuff. So, I'm going to decorate it with some pom poms. Some good pom poms. So, let's stop to add pom poms. So, the nice thing about using a, a work table like this that has the grid and the dots and so forth is. I can make sure that it's about as straight as it's going to be. It's not going to be perfect, but I can use these dots to make sure that these are being held straight across um, as we go through and do the work. I can also make sure that the legs are flush with one another. So I've got that going on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same over here Why this one is going to finish it up drying. So I have it on the back right now because this is backwards, um, but I don't really care about that. So we're going to give two inches of clearance on here, so I'm going to find the, the two and a half inch mark and then go ahead and stick these guys on. And get this top bunk right on there as well. You, you almost just said bunk. <laughs> what else would I say? Bunk. Are we making a bunk bed? out so far this doesn't also have to just go on here it can go on other dolls um so let's do a swirl i'm not done yet um but it's really it's going out well now i'm gonna do a orange i kind of have my dad's hands right now so let's add one on this one so what I like to do before the glue completely dries 100% is I'll flip this over. This way if I have a little bit of wiggle room I can get them adjusted the way I want to kind of be as straight as possible. It's not always perfect but it's definitely the goal is what we're after here. And it's really really gonna be okay. Um. 
the key things that you want to have on this bunk bed is this, you want the, the post to be as flush as possible. It just makes it easier when we go to add the support structures all over to it. And so while this is going, you have just enough to hold. We can always add more glue to it. I can see here just testing the legs. No wobbles, so we're in good shape there, which is nice. They might just trim up this leg here. Looks like we have a little bit of a weird, not a perfectly straight cut here. So I'm going to trim just a smidge off. There we go. Can I see this? So now we're in good shape. So now what I'll do is I'll just want to go through and I'm just going to make sure LOL dog can fit in there. And she can. And I'm just going to strengthen kind of all these joints to make sure we got what we need here. And if I wanted to, if I was doing something, I could make sure that everything was super precise, but it's just that's not the point of the making here. It's that creativity. So when we were working with Ava and she drew up her plans for what she wanted. We were able to go online and look, kind of find some other ideas. We kind of just twisted it and then made it our own as we were working. And so the same thing is going to apply to you. You see our idea, but you can make, you can probably make something even cooler or better. The way you color and decorate it. That's how we did it. And so then the beauty of that would be for you then to share your work with us so we can learn from you and all together we can all get better. Walk, 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 walk. I'm on the walk stand. Okay, so our next step now that we want to do is create the supports. So I'm going to put kind of like the headboards like we did with the single bed on the, the back side. And I'm going to do the same thing on the underside over here as well. So I'm going to cut some more of these boards of these classical sticks. And I'm... How's the decoration coming? Good, good, good. I made a dress. This is going to be all pink. Really going to be... So I'm going to go through now. I'm just going to add the headboard to the top bunk. You can kind of space this how you want. I'm actually going to roll it so it's nice and tight down at the bottom so it kind of looks like we have these posts sitting above. I'm sorry if you guys see my head. It, I know it kind of looks weird. Yeah, you're right in the way. Goofy. Mm And we're going to do the same thing down here, little headboards down here for the bunk bed. So, and we can just try to butt these up this way, just kind of provide some additional support um, for the bunk bed as it was playing with them, or you're playing with them, or your kids at your school, or your program, wherever you're making these. So, we've got it just like that the two headboards here and here. And then we're going to add one more, not to the bottom. Um, where we're actually going to place this is um, on the back underside. Okay, so if you're looking here on this particular bunk bed, we're actually going to stick it, as you see there, um, down below at the bottom of, of the leg piece. And we'll, I'll show you why here in just a minute. Right here. Now we're going to cut this fourth one here. And so what we've got. Uh, we've got the headboards to both bunk beds here, and then I've got a support across there. And then this one, I'm actually going to stick underneath. I'm not going to put on top, and I'll show you why here for the sake of the of the plank. Actually, this is where we're going to build our our uh, staircase, and so we're going to need that that extra space kind of cleared there. This is hard. You don't have a good angle for it. Baby. There. <laughs> Okay, why don't you come back around because you're blocking the whole camera and we can't we can't see what you're doing and we can't see what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. There you go. 
Okay, so our next step here is we're going to add these staircases. So we're going to go through and add just two stairs here and here. And we can use these as the guides to kind of brace these stairs. So we're going to go ahead and add those now. Do you still need this to show? So I'm going to go ahead and cut. I'm going to go ahead and measure these again here just to make sure we've got similar. You could add more stairs. You could add the stairs onto the front if you wanted to put it on this way. We just don't have the room for it in the house that she has, and so we had to make some adjustments um, that way. So we're just gonna do stairs. This it's more for looks. They're not actually gonna use it, but you could at least make it playable with the dolls. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lay these down to make it look like there's actual stairs. So then we'll go ahead here and um, we'll do the one leg. So once we got this side of the leg of the staircase done, we're going to go here again. So once again, just going through, outlining the edge with the hot glue. It's not going to be perfect, but it's okay. We can always trim that out with the X-Acto knife if we need to later. We can always add more glue later if we need. And we're just going to try to get that where it's flush with the bottom, just as more support, and just to kind of hold everything in place here. So then while that's drying, now we've got our staircase. So now it looks like they can actually step, step into the bed. They got their bed there, they got the headboards here. We've got some extra glue all around. So what I like to do here at this point, where everything's just kind of drying, just kind of coat everything. I can go back later and I can exacto knife out anything that we need to get rid of. But I like to err on the side of caution. Make sure everything is nice and sealed so it's going to hold tight so we don't have to keep building more and more. They'll actually last a while. So I'm just kind of going through, filling in any spots that I think need it. I think we're going to be in good shape. We're going to let this dry and then we'll get all the decoration on that Ava's been working on. And we will be ready to rock and roll. So we're going to let this kind of dry here for a minute. Our bunk bed. And we wanted these in there. Okay. Put the purple on the bottom. Purple on the bottom. Alright, so we're going to go there. Here. Go ahead and cut these out while she's working. She's working on all the cool decorations. So. <laughs> and these are what I have made for pillows. This one I just made. It's like a little button. And it's just yellow with like a little pom pom. Um, then. I have um, another pillow, it's pink, and it's for the bottom bunk bed. The bottom back bunk bed is going to be pink. You want the pink at the bottom or top? Um, pink on the bottom. So I got, just got some two pom-poms, and yeah. So this is with foam, and this is not with foam. Right here. And this is not with foam. Alright, so now we got the sheets on. And you can see here, Amy also made a really awesome dress for her LOL dolls as well. You're using just some felt and some pom-poms. What a cool dress for her. So you can see where the creativity starts to stem from, not just in the beds, but everything else that starts to come together. All right, so what else we got here, Ava? We got some pillows ready to go on? Yes. So this one is for the top. I'm making another one of those. Okay. 
And I'll tell you um, an easy way how I made that yellow one. So I just took some of this foam. And then I kind of just cut it into a square. Put it into um, the square, and then I make another square again. Then I have to hot glue. Oh! And then I hot glue it down. Then I kind of have to make this one a little bit. I don't want it to dry. Oh, so it's... Is it a pom-pom down there? Yep. Is it green and purple? I'll have green. Thank you. A little bit of glue on there? Yes. Put a little bit of oil. And add it right on. And then... You can add it right on to there. Oh, boom. Now we've got our pillows and our beds. So guys, let us know what you think. you now be able to see how to make a regular bed. And you've also been able to see how to make a bunk bed. Not only with the popsicle sticks, but also the amazing decoration and the pillow idea that Ava's put together. Yes. So let us know what you think. Give us some other ideas. And if you make something, leave a video, leave some pictures down below so we can see, so we can learn from you. And comment down below if we should do some other things with popsicle stuff. What else would you like us to see Benches, us make? Benches, tables, whatever. Yeah, let us know. Or even some cup holders. Bye, see you on the next week or whatever.